Hey everybody, what's up? This is Crypto Cody, and I'm so excited to do another video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna to be talking about one of my very favorite ERC20 tokens, Gollum. We're gonna be hopping into, you know, it, what's the marketing on this thing? What's the strength of it? Let's talk about the project itself and what it's doing for society. And let's talk about some numbers. So, um, let's hop into this, and I just wanna remind you guys really quick, before we get into it, I'm no financial advisor, so if you're gonna make any financial decisions based off of um, anything at all, take full responsibility for that, for your own financial actions, because um, this is a wild, wild west. There's not a whole lot of guarantees out here, but I will say there's a lot of opportunity to make some money. So let's hop into this. Is this a good investment? And um, <clears throat> and why I actually believe it actually is a great investment. So, um, you know, I want to encourage you guys to go to uh, golem.network. That's uh, G-O-L-E-M.network. And check out this video this video gives you a lot of great explanation as to what the project's all about what they're trying to achieve and accomplish and uh, you can kind of get a snippet of the future of what Gollum is going to do for helping our society this right here so Gollum as a marketplace to empower users now this is huge okay so this this right here here's the crazy thing so Gollum is like you have to think about it as like a supercomputer okay it's a supercomputer to help software developers um, to be able to render um, serious things that take a lot of time. I don't know if you guys have ever been in like, say the music industry, or if you guys have ever been a part of the movie making industry, um, or if you guys have ever seen, you know, just simply YouTubers, you know, you, you understand how long it takes to render videos to put up a YouTube video. Um, you know, and a lot of that has to do with the, the, uh, the internet portion of that. But you have to understand that, um, when people are creating big time movies, like say transformers or, you know, things that have a lot of CGI, and rendering process takes a very, very long time to render that stuff. Uh, musicians, when they're going through a mastering process or trying to capture music and having the best quality of it all, it's a long time rendering process. So what's really interesting is, is that Gollum is offering an opportunity for people to actually make money for um, basically people, software developers and people that have computing power to be able to rent out that to other people that are trying to do, you know, go through a rendering process. And I think this is super valuable, and I'm gonna explain why as far as the future goes, but check this out. So Gollum enables users and applications, which are called the requesters, to uh, rent out cycles of other users, which is the providers, okay? So we have requesters and providers. The requesters are wanting to have, need, basically asking for help to be able to render whatever it is they're trying to render. Um, and by the way, guys, this is all decentralized, okay? So this is based on a decentralized platform which is really awesome. I think that's wonderful because that just gives us that much more freedom. And um, so, and basically what they want to do is, you know, any user uh, ranging from a single PC owner to a large data cent um, center can share resources through Gollum and then get paid in the Gollum token GNT, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, you know, think about it like this. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever drove Uber before, if you guys have ever done Airbnb, um, but it's kind of like that. Um, my wife and I, you know, we actually Airbnb um, some places and, you know, it's it's pretty cool that we actually own a space that we can actually utilize to help, you know, say like traveling nurses or people that are on vacation, all that different stuff. They're renting out our space so that they don't have to get a hotel because they would rather have our house or whatever. And uh, you know, with this, it's the similar thing. So instead of using like the cloud network, which can be pretty costly, this can actually be a very, very um, more cost affordable way. And not just that, but also quicker way uh, for you to be able to render your soft or render whatever it is you're trying to render. And this is gonna have quite a futuristic uh, point to it. So like, let me give you an example. This is like, you know, this is kind of fire out there, but let me throw at you, you know, what I could see Gollum being a part of in the, in the future is, um, so I believe that in the future, we're going to be having two different worlds that we're going to be living in. We're going to be living in, I mean, obviously it's going to be the same world, but I believe that we're going to be having, um, a, you know, we're kind of already doing this living in a digital world. Like right now you guys are watching this video. It's kind of a digital world, but I think that we're going to get to a point where it's going to almost feel like you can switch from the real world to the digital world. And I believe that that's going to come with, you know, glasses. It's going to, you know, eventually going to be coming with, uh, with contacts where people are going to literally be plugged in 24 seven. And, um, and I, and I really think that what's going to happen is, is you're going to need companies like Gollum to help render all of this crazy, crazy stuff. So like, for instance, I believe that in the future, this is just an example that, that I didn't 
take this from Gollum or anything. I just, I could see this happening in the future where we're going to have contacts that, um, or glasses that are going to be recording at all times. Okay. And I think that for the, this is a good, this is going to be good for in some senses, but not good in some senses. It, it's good in some senses that, you know, people will be able to prove, um, say like an accident that happened or people will be able to prove, you know, like say someone was stealing something from the store or whatever. I think that, you know, there's going to be a lot of different regulated laws. I won't get into all the technologies of this, but I believe that there will come a time where you can have your glasses that are constantly recording 24 seven. And I know that that sounds kind of crazy. It's just, a, it's, that's a hypothetical example. I'm not saying that, uh, Gollum is, you know, going to do that. I'm just saying I could see that companies are going to eventually want to use, um, this particular blockchain technology, this decentralized blockchain technology for people under these uh, certain circumstances. So I think that, that, you know, there's a lot of great things that Gollum has to offer for the future. I think that a lot of people don't understand what Gollum has to offer yet because we're not really there yet. Like people don't really, we're not at a point right now where people are like, oh, we need to start renting out um, this kind of soft. We need to start renting out um, other people's, you know, power, basically computing power. Um, because we're just not there yet. But I think once we get past like 5G and I don't know if we ever get into like 6G, 7G, 8G, whatever, whatever the really super powerful computer, um, speed stuff, once we get into that, I think new technologies are going to come out that are going to require people to have to rent out this kind of stuff. And I, that's what I see. I see the future of this being very, very, very big. Now let's, okay. So that's basically that. Now I would encourage you guys to go to this page, learn more about it. Um, there's, there's a white paper here. Really awesome. Uh, check out the white paper and what their vision is and what they're planning on doing. Now this right here, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. So these are the different groups, the requesters, the providers, and the software developers. I want to just kind of dig into it really quick. So the requesters, basically Gollum offers tools to execute computing incentive tasks for requesters. Okay. Um, and this is basically the incentive for the requesters. Requesters get access to affordable and scalable solutions, which combined hardware and software. So basically, you know, requesters are going to need some help as far as scalability goes, uh, being able to have the speed, being able to have different, you know, tasks that they need done. And, uh, so they, they put out a request and that request is being put out to these, what are called providers. Now providers, Gollum combines and utilizes almost just about every single, just about everything, um, any kind of existing computing hardware. Okay. So that's pretty cool that they can be able to offer that. And then the incentive that the providers have is the hardware providers get paid for renting out their hardware and they get paid in the Gollum currency, the Gollum, um, asset and token, which is pretty awesome to be able to, you know, have that. So that's kind of like the Ubers, um, the, or the Airbnb hosts. Okay. And uh, then we have the software developers, uh, software developers. Okay. So Gollum is a flexible platform, um, <clears throat> flexible platform to uh, deploy and monetize software. And then their incentive software developers use Gollum as a distributed channel associated with access to hardware. So pretty cool guys. I think it's awesome that, you know, Gollum has this opportunity for um, people to not only, you know, have, have a better supercomputer opportunity for themselves, but they also can get paid to provide that for different people on a decentralized platform. So I think that's just awesome. all right. So if we head on over to Gollum's Twitter page at Gollum project is their tweet, um, name. And, um, I just want to encourage you guys, uh, to check out this blog post they put down. It's the development updates for May, 2019, really interesting blog post. Um, but if you, you know, they're fairly active on their Twitter, so it's a good Twitter. It, it's a good account to be following as far as the projects updates and whatnot. But, uh, they put down in this section right here, it says, and a hint, if you, if we were you, we would keep our ears and eyes open for the next days or the next few days. Gollum is about to announce an ongoing partnership. This was posted about an hour ago today. And, um, which is pretty exciting because, uh, who knows who, who knows what the partnership is going to be, but this definitely is driving, I think a little bit of hype in the market and it's making people a little bit excited about what this, what's this all about? What's going on? Um, I'll go ahead and retweet that. I think it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so there's a little bit about the strength of marketing. I mean, they, to be honest, they really don't have the best marketing, um, out there. I think that they could really work on their marketing team, but I will say they are doing a good job keeping us updated and what's going on the development. I think the biggest thing with Gollum right now, it's, it's such a narrow-minded project 
that um which is fine there's nothing wrong with that it's just it doesn't drive as much hype as some of these big 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 projects or um you know like there's some big projects out there that people are just like they're just not so narrow-minded this one's very specific and i think that what they're doing has there's a future there's a there's a very serious future to what Gollum is doing and i think that they i think they're going to succeed i really do so uh let's hop into the numbers so this is uh, over in coin market cap Gollum currently sitting at 10 cents 10 and a half cents and this by the way guys is a great time to be in my opinion in my opinion this is a great time to be purchasing Gollum. um you know it's it's i actually think it's been going down i'd wait for it to continue to go down a little bit to see oh maybe it's going up a little bit i don't know this it, it was up about 10 15 percent not too long ago so um and the reason why i believe that this is a phenomenal investment is just the numbers guys i mean you look at this total supply you have a billion gnt total supply okay so that's their total supply it's currently sitting at 10 cents that's crazy okay that's really really good they're in the rank 72 so they're in the top 100 um but let's take a look at these charts really quick because i think this is really fascinating um so we've seen Gollum not too long ago uh may 15th to so you know about a year ago it was sitting at 58 plus cents okay and then um it, guys it's gone over a dollar it's gone to a dollar 15 plus let's see what the exact height of their production was so number 72 okay so all-time high was a dollar 25 just the fact that it's only 10 cents right now guys only 10 cents and it's got a total supply of a billion i this is a great investment in my opinion um this is a token that i believe is going to do very well as as it continues to advance in its technology i mean we're going to see what these partnership that's coming up is but just with everything that's going on with Gollum right now <clears throat> i i really think that this is a phenomenal investment because you invest in this thing you know and you're making you i mean uh, imagine it goes back to its initial high we're talking about a thousand percent increase for you to be able for it to just simply plus a thousand percent plus increase for you to go back to its initial high I think that that's just awesome, freaking awesome. So a lot of great opportunity here as far as um, the future of it goes. And, you know, I think I think that this is, it's gonna do very, very well. I really do. Um, and I think that we gotta keep our eyes open as far as what's going on with the project and what it's all about and check out the partnerships, follow its Twitter page. But um, I think we're gonna do very well. As far as an ERC-20 token goes, this is very phenomenal and i'm curious if they're ever going to migrate to a coin or if they're just going to stay faithful to the ethereum platform i'm not sure but um we'll see what happens guys i mean i think that we're this is exciting these are exciting times and uh i think that you know like we were talking about earlier there's a lot of opportunity with Gollum as far as the future of ai technology goes and rendering through ai technology and whatnot so <clears throat> supercomputers guys it's the way of the future but Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like uh, this video, and send me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole thing. And, you know, educate me. I like this channel to be all about us educating each other, not just a one-way street where I'm educating you guys as much as I can, uh, the best I can. Please educate me. Um, I really appreciate you guys. This is an awesome community, and let's continue to build a massive community of people where we can just teach each other all about what we're doing. Um, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I will chat with you guys later. Crypto Cody out.